scale of what needs to be achieved in transforming uh, agriculture on the continent is so large that we have to find a different way of doing it. Um, so far, we have focused on a few things, certainly government leading with policies and investment, increasing the investment in agriculture, you know, attracting the private sector, um, you know, increasing productivity in, in farming. Those are all very important. But to achieve true transformation, all those things have to work together. And the only way those things are going to work together is by forming partnerships. And you've got to build the partnerships from the ground up. So it's not about giving directives. A head of state gives a directive to say, you must form this partnership with this particular partner. You have to look for shared value from the ground, build up a true and sustainable partnership, which each person understanding what their role is in the partnership and holding the other partner accountable to ensure that they deliver on their obligations. I think both are important. I think that uh, you know, it's, one is a factor of the other. I mean, if you increase your productivity, you get a good yield. I mean, that to me is just what you can't have is mutually exclusive. But I think the question is, what does productivity mean for the farmer? Okay, it doesn't just mean that he's increasing his yield. What it means is that he's got more and pos pos probably more sustainable product to sell. The next question is, after you have, uh, or he, this farmer has increased their productivity, is now getting yields, what do they do with it? Okay, where is the post-harvest uh, storage mechanism? Where is the market that he's going to sell the product? So to me, one must look at productivity as a continuum in the value chain. It is what you do to increase the productivity, but what you also do at the same time to ensure that when the yields are good, then there is somewhere for this product to go, either to be stored when times are lean, or to be sold onto a commercial supply chain. There are too many paradoxes in agriculture to talk about. The, 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 the sad fact is that most of them are negative. Okay? Despite agriculture uh, employing you know, such a large number of people on the continent, the level of investment that goes into agriculture by our governments, by our policy makers, is still negligible. Many countries still have not reached the 10% threshold set by Malabo. So, you know, that's one paradox. The other paradox is that the amount of private sector investment going into such an important sector is also low when you compare it with other things like manufacturing uh, and services. And so, you know, the paradoxes are too many. I think what a forum like AGRF does is it allows us to bring together key actors who can make decisions about the things that affect uh, these paradoxes that we're talking about. You have policy makers in government, you have private sector representatives at high level, often CEOs, and then you have people who make it work in the middle to try and make it happen. You have non-state actors, you have farmers, you have continental bodies. So AGRF, uh, in the sense that it brings those people together, is important. But what is more important is to have the right conversations and make sure that AGRF is not an event but actually a culmination in a series of things that have been happening over the 12 months from the previous one. So what you're doing is announcing things that have been worked on for the past 12 years, not announcing things you're going to work on for the next 12 months. Let's make it more about what has been achieved. Uh, and I think that for me, if we can get there with AGRF and many of the other forums that are held around agriculture on the continent, then we will begin to see a shift in terms of the transformation journey. What has stood out for me is there's a shift in the conversation. I think that people are now getting tired of the fact that we talk about the same issues and there doesn't seem to be any action in terms of moving the needle forward on that transformation journey. People are now getting very specific. I mean, I attended a ministerial roundtable uh, yesterday um, where, you know, ministers were being put to task to say how. When you say we are going to transform agriculture in our country, they've been told, how, what are you going to do? Tell us specifically. When you say we are going to attract the private sector, what do you mean? Which private sector? Who are you talking about? So people are getting very granular about what they want to hear 
not just from policymakers, but from the private sector and from people like me who work in the middle of trying to bring the private sector and public sectors together. So Grow Africa is uh, now in a phase where we are also trying to get granular. I have to take you back in order to tell you about where we are going. So Grow Africa was established in uh, 2011 and uh, over a two-year period from 2011 to 2012, Grow Africa was able to mobilize commitments of investment of about $10 billion, okay? The following three years, Grow Africa was only able to convert about 25% of that $10 billion. Now, conversion takes time. Conversion from pledge uh, to commitment and from commitment to commercial activity takes time, okay? But there is, people are running out of patience. People are saying, we want to see action. So what we've done is we've said, what are the learnings? What have been some of the challenges that have uh, got, made us get to that level where we only converted 25%? We've learned from them and we've uh, helped to establish a framework called a Country Agribusiness Partnership Framework, or CAPF for short. CAPF is a simple framework which is uh, replicable in different countries depending on their state of play in, in their capability and capacity. And it, essentially it allows uh, government and private sector to start building business deals from the ground up until it reaches the cabinet level for approval. This makes it sustainable, it makes it mutually accountable between government and private sector, and this is what Grow Africa is going to be focusing on in the next 12 months, is rolling out this CAPEF uh, in a number of countries that we are now trying to determine who is ready to implement.